Guys, have you ever thought about how you're gonna run the ball when you run the air raid? We all wanna throw it and spin it to win, but sometimes you gotta run it. Today, we're gonna talk about how you use formations and motions to protect the inside zone. Stay tuned. All right, coaches, welcome back to the 92 Mesh Group channel, your home on YouTube for the Air Raid offense. This is Coach Coltharp coming back to you. I know I haven't made a video in about a week, week and a half. Those of you guys who follow me on social media know that, um, that I just got named the head coach here at my school. And so I've been spending the last couple of weeks, you know, trying to lay the groundwork for, uh, for you know, the culture change and things that we're going to try to do here with our program. So um, all that being said, we're going to try to keep our, uh, our schedule that we have had in the past. It's just been the last couple of weeks doing a lot of different things like inventories and stuff like that. Hey, and if you'd like to see a video series of what it's like to start a new program at a new job, I'd be more than happy to maybe do something, stuff, some, something like that. Um, just kind of chronicling what I've been going through the last couple of weeks and, and what I'm going to be doing over the spring to, to kind of get things going in the direction that I want to go in. Um, hit me down, hit me up in the comments down below. And if I get enough comments about it, then maybe we'll do that. Also, hey, listen, I really appreciate the love you guys have been giving the channel. We're so close to 3,000 subscribers. I, you know, we started this channel last May and I just can't believe where we are today. And it's all because of you guys and I really appreciate it. So this past weekend, I had an opportunity to, um, to speak at a clinic in Union Ponds and, and shout out to, uh, to to Coach Lonnie Cox for putting on a great clinic. He had some great guys up there um, talking a lot of things. And, and one of the guys who talked um, was uh, Coach Phil Collette, who is uh, the new head coach at West Wilkes High School in North Carolina. And um, Phil is, is one of the better offensive minds that you'll talk to. And the great thing about him is he talked about, you know, inside zone play and some things. And it got me to thinking about some of the stuff that he was saying. And I was like, you know, I do these things but they really, really make sense. And, and his thing was this, that you can protect your inside zone several ways to where if you use the right formations and motions, they give you the right opportunities to set it up. And so I thought we would talk about some of the stuff that Phil showed us and um, kind of wanted to share it with you. Now, we're not gonna get really, really uber particular about how we're gonna block the inside zone. You know, we're just gonna run our track block. So we're not gonna, you know, we're not getting into doubling and all this other kind of stuff. So this is not an inside zone video per se. It's just, you know, we're good. We're, we've got five. They've got five. We want to do this. So right now, if you're running in early, this is generally what you're going to get. Something like this. You're going to get a split the difference backer, six man box, roll down safety or whatever, whatever. OK, so here's what Phil is talking about. Put early into the boundary. OK, put it into the boundary that kind of compresses all these guys. And motion H to the wide side of the field. And he said generally, he showed a little film on this, generally what happens is now this linebacker has to widen out and this guy really doesn't move fast enough to put it in. So now you've taken this and just by going in motion, you've now created a five man box for your inside zone just with one motion, okay? And so I was like, wow, you know, I, I do that. I, it's not something that I don't do. And so then, of course, you know, the next thing that I was going to say is, all right, well, what if that guy doesn't move? All right, well, if it doesn't move, now you still motion him and he doesn't move out. You have your bubble screen RPO. So now you got one on one and this safety has to uh, has to play that. OK, so what's the other way for them to do it? They can roll the safety down, and then that's when you now can play action and run the post. And that's just one way to use formations and motions to protect your inside zone. So hey, look, this is just a short video for you guys today. I wanted to get this back up on the channel and just talk a little bit about 
what Coach Collette was talking about. I'm sure if you look him up at, at West Wilkes High School here in North Carolina, he'd be more than happy to, uh, to talk to you about these things. He had a great presentation he shared with me the other day. Um, and if you want me to, I can get a hold of his Twitter and all that stuff, and I'll put it in the description. But listen, guys, like and subscribe to the video. I really appreciate it. I'm getting really excited. Tomorrow I'm jumping on a plane going down to Dallas. Going to spend a couple of days watching the XFL practice and then go to the game on Sunday. Really, really excited to see Coach Mummy and them and, and just really, really excited about Air Raid Nation. If you guys haven't got your tickets yet, we're about 50 tickets in, so we're looking really good. Right now we've got 150 you know, that we can sell before we have to expand, and that's I'd love to have to do that. But, you know, get your tickets, get your tickets to the dinner. we got a special guest speaker coming to the dinner. I'm not ready to announce that yet. But if you haven't subscribed to the video, like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when we go live. And as always, spin it to win.